Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be talking about theming in GNOME with lib Adawada. So around the time that GNOME introduced GTK4 and the lib Adawada theme, it gained a lot of controversy because theming as we know it was going to be gone. GNOME came in the defense of developers that wanted us to stop theming their apps. And a lot of people in the Linux community were very divided. On the one hand, we could understand wanting to accommodate developers. But on the other hand, Linux and open source is about freedom. And taking away customization, like theming, was going to limit what users can do with their own OS. The GNOME team didn't necessarily rule out theming completely. They were developing their recoloring API that did some very interesting things with the theme here. But maybe the goal was to make theming less of a hack. And so now, with the introduction of a new app called Gradients here, which I've just installed in this GNOME OS test environment that I'm running through the box virtual machine, this gives us the ability to customize lib Edweta. Going off by what I've seen on this week in GNOME, it seems that the GNOME team is very much in support of this app and this type of customization slash theming. So let's check out the app here. So welcome to Gradients. Customize Adwaita with ease. Customize Adwaita theme, change colors of windows, buttons, list, and more with advanced features like adding custom CSS. Now it does give you the option of allowing this ADW-GTK3 theme. And what that is, is a theme that is for GTK3 apps. So pretty much all the apps that haven't switched to GTK4. And this particular theme will make it look like the lib Adwaita on GTK4. So if you're using this on maybe like Fedora with the uh, you know, GNOME 42, you'd probably want to enable that. And I'm going to do it for system configuration as well. Okay, start using gradients. Now, it seems like at the forefront, it wants the user to really, really customize. But based on individual, um, you know, attributes here, I just want to find something that I can change very easily. Okay, background color. So it has a default. You click on here to change it. So I'm going to change it to like red select and boom the header bar has been changed probably doesn't match with the dark theme but that's all right and then if you click here you can go back to the previous color hit select and now it's back to normal here now all of this is good and this restores a lot of the freedom that linux users love um, there are some other features i haven't really played around with this too much um, i guess it's supposed to change certain images in libadwaita but I won't worry about that now. And I guess it's going to allow for plugins. So that's going to be pretty cool. But the most important thing here, I think, is um, if you click here, presets is where we want to go. And it's almost like not being very upfront about what this is. But I feel like in maybe later versions, it should just be called like a theme store or something like that. Right. Because that's essentially what it is. These are the built-in presets. And then if you click Explore, this is where you can download the themes. So let me download a few interesting ones like Solarized Dark, Dracula. I'm going to do Nord, which was a very popular theme for like GTK3 apps. And then one that I really liked, not that I'd use it actually, but it had interesting colors was this um, wave. So now if I hit download, I can go to installed and here are my themes. Let's try Dracula. You can see it immediately changes and it looks very nice. Solarized dark. Um, try Synthwave. Synthwave is like a very cool gamer-ish looking one. Let's try Nord, which is a very popular one. It has like a very nice hue here. Nice blue. Oh, so now I know why it wasn't applying my themes. Once you hit apply and you close the window, you actually have to click apply here. And I guess if you don't have um, this ADW GTK3 installed, then you can just leave it unchecked. 
But once I hit apply, now everything should change. Yep, the file manager now changed to this nice familiar Nord theme. Okay, so the settings app is now changing. So that's good. Software Stenner still being stubborn. But yeah, like I said, it seems to be very inconsistent still. But it's still pretty much a very new app, so I won't hold it completely against them yet. As you can see, the Gradients app is very powerful. And I believe this is all being ran through the Libadewaita recoloring API. That's kind of, I don't know if that's what's uh, acting like the theme selector here. But this is a very nice app. I'm curious how distro makers like System76 with Pop! OS and Zorin with Zorin OS, if they could possibly use this API to theme their GNOME versions, will this make Pop! OS just stick with using GNOME? Will this make Zorin stick with using GNOME? I think this is going to make things easier for, for them. And um, we'll see where this goes. Um, I'm curious what app developers think about this. You think this is a good thing? Is this a much better way to properly theme your apps or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my videos, you can support the channel on LibraPay or Patreon and check out some more videos on YouTube, Odyssey, or Peertube. And feel free to follow me on Mastodon or Twitter. See links in the description below.